Hi team, welcome to my channel. My name is KK, you can also call me Fluff. Today we're gonna do a booty and ab workout. It's gonna take 20 minutes. You don't need any equipment, so just grab your mat and a water bottle and let's get ready to rock. All right, we're gonna start with just a simple warm up. We're gonna start with some butt kickers. So just like this, try and get your heel all the way up to your butt if you can. Go at your own pace here. Remember, it's just a warm up. So just kind of a light jog in place with an emphasized hamstring curl. Good. And from here, we're gonna go from between alternating between squat to a hamstring stretch. Okay, just like this. Again, go at your own pace. We're just kind of loosening up the hips a little bit. We're warming up both the quads and the hamstrings, as well as the glutes. That's the main focus of today. Good. It's gonna be a fun booty workout. Okay, let's go one more. Perfect. From here, let's come into a reverse lunge with an extended hip stretch. So keep this hip pushed forward and just reach up overhead. Come forward, then alternating sides. Find your lunge first and then reach up overhead. Good. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of that hip. Good, let's go two more. Good. Last one. Perfect. Let's come back to those butt kickers. Good. Good. Should be feeling a little warm now. I know I am. Perfect. Give us come back squat to alternating hamstring stretch. Good. Good. And if you want to hold any of these stretches for a bit, feel free to. If you have like particularly tight hip and kind of want to sit at the bottom of your squat, or you have tight hamstrings, you want to hold that for a second, you're perfectly welcome. Go one more. Good. Come into that reverse lunge. Extend the hip stretch. Good. And we're just gonna go three on each side. Good. Good. Really exaggerate this hip coming forward. Get a good stretch in it. And one more. Perfect. We're gonna come down on the all fours. We're gonna hit a cat cow stretch. So just right here. Arch your back, deep breath in, and then curve. Belly button to your spine, big breath out. Arch, and curve, and let's go one more. Arch, and curve. Perfect. Now come into a flat back position just like so. We're gonna draw some hip circles. So right leg's gonna come up, keep that leg bent at 90 degrees. Bring it up and around as high as you can. Draw as big of a circle as you can. We're gonna go like three big circles, both directions. So go ahead and switch directions. And just carve out a giant circle. Good. Now let's switch sides. Left leg's gonna come up this time. And the giant circle just opening up that hip joint a bit. Good. Switch direction. Good. One more. Perfect. From here, let's curl the toes under and pop up into a downward dog stretch. I like to pedal right here. You definitely just hold still. Just push those heels towards the ground to feel a stretch in those calves. Good. Now bring the left foot up to the outside of the left. A little stretch right here. You can hold this for a second and then plant the palm. Let's open up towards the sky. Bring that hand back down and step it back to your downward dog. And the same thing on the other side. The right foot comes up outside of the right hand. Hold it here for a second, then plant the left palm. Right hand opens up towards the side. Good, good twist here. Good. Step it back down. Back to downward dog. And we're just gonna walk our hands back towards our toes and roll it up. All right, team, let's get ready to rock. Okay, 
first circuit, you know, no booty workout would be complete without the squat. So first thing first, we're gonna do a step out squat. So you're just gonna step and squat, come back to center, and then other side. We have a full minute of this, okay? And just go at your own pace here. Go as you're comfortable. If you really wanna put in work, you can go real fast. Or if you're just kind of like, not so much today, I'm gonna focus more on that squat, not so much the speed, that's perfectly fine as well. Keep in mind we have a full minute, so pace yourself here. Good. Keep your weight in your heels. You wanna push through your glutes. Stand back up. And for those of you who are maybe like quad dominant, you're feeling your quads really on fire and not so much your glutes, focus on really pushing through your heels of your feet. Okay? You got 15 more seconds. Good. Breathe through it. Good. Five more seconds. Perfect. We're gonna come into a lunge wood chopper. It looks like this. Come into this lunge position. My left foot's forward, right foot's back. You can drop your knee in the back if you're feeling strong today. Otherwise, you can keep it up. Both fingers interlace and come right here. And you're just gonna chop down like you're chopping down a tree, okay? So you can go, go for some speed here. And we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Good. Use your core, use your obliques. Pull this through. And your legs should also be working, trying to hold you stable. We got 20 seconds left. Good. At any point you need a water break, feel free to pause this video and get yourself some water. Good. Good, five more seconds. Perfect, we're switching sides. The so same thing, other side. Right foot comes forward, and we're just gonna keep chopping down that tree. Good. Use your core here, use your obliques. Hold you stable. Good. Good, we're about halfway there. Good. Good work, team. We got five more seconds. We're almost there. Okay, we got more like seven, but we're almost there. And you're good, perfect. Shake it off if you need to. We're gonna come down onto the mat. We're gonna come into some glute bridges. So, you're gonna come down. I like to push through my heels here. Sometimes I'll even bring my toes up to overemphasize it. Push through your heels, use your glutes, and squeeze at the top, okay? You have a full minute right here. Good. Big squeeze at the top. Use your glutes. And if you're feeling a little uncomfortable in your neck or anything like that, you can also turn these into hip thrusters. If you're by like a couch, you can put your shoulder blades up on the couch and then squeeze through. Good. Good. Good, we're about halfway through, team. Squeeze the booty. Good. Have buns of steel by the end of this. Good. 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 You got 15 more seconds. Good. The sun is like right in my eyeballs, but it feels good. It's actually been raining all day, so we came out right when it got sunny. Good. Come on up. If you need a sip of water, now's a good time to take it, because otherwise, we're gonna go right th back through that circuit all over again. So when you're ready, team, back to those side-to-side -side squats, okay? We got one minute here. Oh, this puppy is so cute. It's a little baby golden retriever. So cute. Good. Good, go at your own pace here. Use those glutes. Good. Yeah, I thought it wasn't gonna be this sunny today. Otherwise, I probably would have worn a tank top because I tan really easily. And I'm gonna end up with that lovely farmer's tan. That's okay though. It's just proof, it's evidence that I've been working outside. Good. Got 10 more seconds. Good. The team are almost there. Perfect, right into those lunge wood choppers. Left foot comes forward, 
and let's go. Good. We got 30 seconds here. Good. Good, we got 15 more seconds. We're halfway there. Good work, team. Use those obliques. Use those legs to hold you strong. Five more seconds. Perfect, we're switching sides. Right foot comes forward, drop into this lunge, and let's go. Good. Good. Oh, it's a baby duck. So cute. Good, we're halfway there. Good. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds, team. Stay with me. And you're good. Shake it off. All right, we're ready. Let's drop back down to the mat. We got one minute of glute bridges. Let's go. Good. If you want even like an extra challenge, you can even try and cross one leg over and do single leg and do 30 seconds each side. Otherwise, just stay nice and simple right here. Just big squeeze in the glutes for a full minute. Good. I'll close my eyes for a bit here. <laughs> the sun is right in my eyes. <laughs> Good. Good, we're a little over halfway. Good. Perfect. Breathe through it. Almost there, team. Good. 10 more seconds. Good. Perfect. All right, team, we're gonna come right into our second circuit. We're gonna start out with two curtsy lunges and right into two squats, okay? So it looks like that. Just curtsy, curtsy, squat, squat, all right? We got a full minute of this. Curtsy, curtsy, squat, squat, all right? Simple enough. <laughs> When you come into these curtsy lunges, your weight should be in this front heel right here, okay? That's what you're using to come back to center. Squat, okay? Curtsy, curtsy, squat, squat. Remember here, you can still go at your own pace. If you're faster than me, kudos to you. If you can't keep up with me, that's also totally fine. Okay? It's all about you, it's your journey. Good, we got about 10 more seconds. Curtsy, squat, squat, good. All right, we're gonna come down onto the mat. And from here, we're really gonna burn out the booty, just so you know. So we're gonna start on the left side, because that's the side closest to you. You're gonna start with bent leg glute kickback. So bring this hip up right here, and then just push this heel, point, flex the toe, and then just push this heel straight up towards the sky, okay? We got 30 seconds right here. Good. If you wanna like really pump them out, you can, or you can go slower if you want to. Good. Good. We got 10 more seconds here. Should feel a big burn in your butt. Good. Five more seconds. Perfect, staying on that same side, we're gonna come right into fire hydrants. So just bring it straight out to the side, okay? This left hip should be working, that outer hip, good. You can even hold at the top, each rep if you want, for a little extra burn, good. Come on, this is not about speed. You really wanna control this movement to focus on squeezing that outer hip, okay? Good. Good, perfect, we do the same thing at our side. So right leg comes up, push the sky away, or the ceiling, or wherever you are. Whatever's above you, push it away. Good. Good, just 30 seconds. Good. Good. 
10 more seconds. I know that booty is burning. Mine definitely is. Feels like it's on fire. It's a good thing. All for the gains. Good. Come right into fire hydrants now on that right side. Just 30 seconds here. Good. And if you need to take a break at any point, come into a little child's pose or pause the video because you want to do the full 30 seconds. Either way, it's perfectly fine to take a break whenever you need to. Good. 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 We got five more seconds. Almost there. Good. Perfect. Now we're going to come back to that left side. This one goes straight leg raises. So point the toe in the back and lift the leg straight up. Okay. Big squeeze in the glutes. Good. And again, here, go at your own pace. If you want an extra burn, you can definitely stay at the top and pulse. Otherwise, you can go full range of motion, like I like to do. Both, you will feel in the booth, in the, in the booty, in the booth, <laughs> booty very intensely. Perfect. Other side, 30 seconds here. Good. When we're done with this, we're going to start from the beginning to those two curtsy lunges and the two squats. Now stay right here. Just squeeze the glutes, straight leg raises. 10 more seconds. Good, keep that core nice and tight. Good, good, perfect. Come on up and start all the way from the beginning. So back to that curtsy, curtsy, squat, squat. We got a full minute here, curtsy, Curtsy, squat, squat, good. If you need a water break, feel free to take one. Good. Otherwise, let's keep burning the booty. Good. Squat, we're about halfway there. Good, stay with me. I know your glutes are burning. Good. But remember to keep your weight in those heels. Don't let your quads take the load just because you're tired, all right? Focus on using those glutes. Big squeeze. Got 10 more seconds. Good. Good, almost there. Perfect. Come on down. On to all fours. Left legs can come up. Push straight up. Good. You got 30 seconds here. Deep breaths. Good. Good. You got 10 more seconds to stay with me. Good. Push the sky away. Good. Perfect. Right in the fire hydrants on that same leg. Make sure you're keeping your core nice and tight here. You don't want to sag like this. We're overly hunchy. We're trying to stay nice and neutral. Neck in alignment with the spine. It's really easy to kind of like let it drop. So we want to keep everything in alignment. Good. Good. Ten more seconds. Last five seconds. Squeeze through it. Perfect. Other side. Front leg comes up nice and bent. Push it away. Good. Hope you swim this way, it's like a family of baby ducks. And it's mama ducks over there. <laughs> Other family is feeding them. Hopefully they come this way. Good. Good, five more seconds. Stay strong. Perfect. Riding the fire hydrants. Good. Oh, you should be feeling a burn. Invite that fire in, you know? That's where results happen. Good. Embrace the burn. Good. Ten more seconds. Good. Five more seconds. Team. We're almost there. Perfect. Straight leg raises. So point that left toe and come straight up. Good. Just 30 seconds here. Good. Almost done with the second circuit. Good. Good, we're halfway there. Good. Good, just five.
five seconds, team. We're almost there. I told you this is going to be a good booty workout. Perfect. Other side. Good. seconds. We're almost there. Good. Five more seconds. Good. Woo! Perfect. Take a break. Take a little child pose if you want to stretch out the glutes. And we're going to finish with some ab work. All right. Last bit here, we're just going to do a whole bunch of ab work, all right? So we're going to start out with the plank. So come onto your forearms and toes. And you're just going to hold the plank right here for 30 seconds. half plank, just like this on your knees, that's totally fine. So that extra burn, hop up onto those toes and just hold. Deep breaths in. About halfway there. Good. We got five more seconds. Try not to sag or pike either. Just hold right in the middle here. Perfect. We're gonna come into straight leg crunches. So Come onto your back, feet come straight up, and you're just gonna pulse right from here, okay? We got 30 seconds right here. Good. Good. And your legs don't have to be like locked out straight. It's okay to bend a little bit. The intention, work these upper abs. The lower abs hold you stable right here. Perfect. Go ahead and drop those feet. From here, we're gonna come into heel taps. So come right here to the side and just reach and just tap your toes right here. So if you put your feet further away, you're gonna have further reach. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. If you bring them closer to your butt, it's gonna be a little bit easier, okay? Good. We got 10 more seconds here. Perfect. Five more seconds. Perfect, relax the upper body hands behind the head and come into like a half bicycle. Just straighten one leg at a time, as low to the ground as you can, while keeping the lower back pressed into the ground. If this is challenging, you can also bring your bicycle up here. Just keep that lower back pressed into the ground throughout this movement, okay? Good. We got 10 more seconds. Good. And then we're gonna take it from the top and come back into that plank. Perfect. Come on up, straight into elbows and toes, right into this plank. Good. Just 30 seconds here. Good. Okay. We got about 10 seconds left. But remember, you can always come into half plank if you need to. Perfect. Come right back into straight leg crunches. So come onto your back. Nice. Come right up. And we're just going to pulse from here. Just 30 seconds. Those abs should be burning. Mine are. Good. That just means it's working. Good. Good. Good team. We're almost there. Perfect, come on down, come straight into heel taps. Good, use those obliques, pull you from side to side. Good, good, about halfway there. The sun is kicking my butt today, I definitely have some lovely looking sweat marks on me. Good, a few more seconds. Perfect, go ahead and relax the head come into those bicycles, so just alternate. Good. Good. Slow and controlled. You should definitely feel those lower abs burning. Trying to keep that back pressed into the mat. Good. Excuse the plane going overhead. 10 more seconds. Good. Almost there. And we're good. Whoo! Good work, team. We're just gonna come right into a cool down. Excellent workout. 
All right, we are gonna start with a piriformis stretch. So just come on down to your back, cross that left ankle over your right knee and bring it up and you're just gonna thread through, lace the fingers and pull this up towards yourself, okay? You should feel a nice stretch in your glutes. If this is too tight and you just can't really reach all the way through, maybe you can only grab right here, or you can't grab at all, you just need to pull. That's totally fine. Just go with where it feels good to you. Good. Hold this here. Good, let's switch sides. So right leg crosses over the left, thread through, and give this a little bit of a pull. <clears throat> good. A little bit of a tan while we stretch. Good. Come roll on up and come into a butterfly stretch. So bottoms of the feet come together, pull your heels towards yourself, and the knees go down. Okay? Hold this stretch for a Let the leg just kind of feel heavy here. Get a good stretch in your inner thigh. Good. From here, we're going to come onto our stomachs, like so. Nice and flat. We're just coming to a nice little cobra cut. You can come right here, kind of baby cobra, and to side to side. Or you can come into a full upward facing dog all the way up here. Wherever you're at, you're going to pull the shoulders away from your ears. So nice On down, I'm squishing my little microphone, so it's fully raw today, guys. Move that to the side a little bit. So come on down a little bit more. If you're like me, you're not totally on the mat. <laughs> Arms go out into this nice T formation. Bring that left foot up so you're making a figure four, and then rotate open and try to get the bottom of your foot onto the ground. It should feel good on your spine. If it's hurting at all, then come out of it and don't stretch as far. Otherwise, try and hold this here for a second. And breathe into it. Perfect. Go ahead and slowly unravel. Don't just snap back. Be careful with your back, always. Be open, get that foot flat onto the ground. Good. And just hold here. Breathe into it. Good. Go one more deep breath. Perfect. Go ahead and slowly. Come on up here. Onto all fours. Curl those toes under. Put them to your downward dog. Good. Get the head loose here. If you're like me and you've got a mane, call my hair make fossil. Keep your fossil loose. Pull it out right here and walk this hand back. Perfect. We're going to come towards the front of your mat. Step the right foot back, okay? Push this right hip forward. Come into a warrior one pose onto the overhead. Nice arch, nice deep stretch in the front of that hip. Hold here to three. out of it. We're going to switch sides. The left foot's going to step back. Come into this lunge. Push this hip forward. Arms come up and overhead. Good. Stretch out those hips. We've done a lot of work today. Beautiful workout. The booty and abs should feel nice and sore tomorrow. Good. Good. Come back to center. Come into a nice mountain pose. Palms go forward. Deep breath in as the arms come up overhead, palms together, and bring it down to your chest on an exhale. Namaste. Beautiful work today, team. 
Thank you so much for joining me today, team. I hope you enjoyed this workout as much as I did, this very intense booty and ab workout. I know I've got some sweat. I'm guessing you do too. If you enjoyed this workout, please hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button because I have new workouts coming every single week. Um, so that way you can come join me on the mat and we'll work out together. Thanks team, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.